Today on FPV 101, we're going to be talking about testing motors. So, you've built a new drone, or just put new motors on a frame. First things first, before you prop up, you want to make sure that your motors are working correctly. Testing motors also requires you to plug in a LiPo battery. So before even launching the software, make sure you remove your propellers. Not doing so, you risk damaging your drone, your workspace, and most importantly, yourself. Once connected to Betaflight, navigate to the Motors tab. Betaflight will have you check an arming notice, just to remind you again how dangerous it is to test your motors with your props on. From there, you can slowly start raising your master value directly to the left. Then your motor should start to spin. If your motors don't spin, then your ESCs are not getting a signal from the flight controller. To get them talking, you need to head over to the configuration tab. Once there, scroll over to ESC slash motor protocol. Most drones will use a protocol in the D-Shot family, so try one of these first. We're going to select D-Shot 600. Next, hit save and reboot. If you've successfully connected your ESCs, then you should hear an audio notification, like this. These tones represent that your ESCs are powered and now speaking to your flight controller. Return to the Motors tab and slowly raise the master value again. The motor should now spin. Verify that the motor order and the rotation direction correspond to the example shown in the top left corner. One way to do this is to slowly spin the motors and do a touch test. Lightly and carefully grip the outside of the motor to check its rotation direction. If one of the motors is spinning the wrong direction, then you can configure your ESCs to reverse it through additional software such as BL Heli. Or, you could simply swap two of the three motor wires connecting to the ESC, as seen here. With your motor spinning correctly and your arm switch set, you're almost ready to fly. But an often overlooked last step is testing your drone's ability to failsafe. Unplug the flight controller from Betaflight, still keeping your props off, but keep your LiPo plugged in. First, arm your drone. Then, power down your transmitter. If your failsafe is set up properly, then the drone's motor should stop spinning once your transmitter is turned off. This is an important safety measure, and will make sure your drone simply won't fly away if the receiver and transmitter stop speaking. 